Good evening, my wonderful friends. Today is Friday, is March 24. It will be posted, the video will be posted in the morning before I will go to work. So those, and thank you so much for your donation, for your kind words and for subscribing to, to me and watching my videos. Thank you for everything. You are the best. Okay, the questions uh, that will be answered today from uh, New York. Oh, no. This one is first. Trump lawyer testified today in front of grand jury, jury how it went. He is the uh, Trump lawyer who was giving information that those uh, that everything was checked on the Mar-a-Lago property. Joe Tapoki Tacopino is another Trump lawyer to Stormy Daniels. He was testifying on Tuesday. We will go there. Kevin McCartney and Jim Jordan wants to investigate the investigator, Alvin Brack, how that will go. Will New York police protect Alvin, Alvin Brack and Letitia Jones? Will Trump be actually convicted? Diane Feinstein, how is her health going to be and her ability to work? See with problem in Florida, stock market in September. So those are the questions. Oops. And I will start to answer them. Okay. Trump's lawyer, Evan Corcoran, testified today in front of grand jury in Washington, D.C. He was the lawyer who told another lady to sign it papers that there are no more documents in Mar-a-Lago. So he was forced to testify and how that will go. Uh, and I saw him standing in front in the graveyard, standing in on top of the grave, empty grave, and he is throwing something in the grave. I bet he will be taking fifth sometimes and he will be destroying his own career. No matter which way he will go, it's no good outcome for him because he is losing his reputation and probably his rights to, to be a lawyer. So I just came from work, so I didn't have time to watch too much TV. And at work, there was no time today, so I will pull. I don't even know if they said anything how that went, but probably because of the grand jury, it was a secret. Well, he will be fighting. No, he will still want to love Trump, and he will choose the dysfunctional family over the good ones. So he wants to kiss the ring and be in be part of Trump's entourage, and he is not going to be happy about this. So expect that in the future he might be drinking too much. Joe Tacopino is Trump another lawyer who was against Trump in 2018. And he was even shown on TV, on CNN, when he was so against, he was saying things, and now he flipped 180 degree, and he's pro-Trump, and against Mike Cohen, so he wants to, you know, damage Mike Cohen's ability to, to say truth, I think, <laughs> liar over another liar. At least Mike Cohen is admitting that he was lying. This one wants to pretend that he is a good guy. And uh, so 
what do you see for his future? That's again for my husband. And uh, he will be okay. Actually, he will help to convict Trump. The jury wouldn't trust him. They will find him like a liar, liar, pants in fire. So they will be putting, they, that will be actually more destruction for Trump than good. And I saw him putting mud on, on, uh, on Trump. Yeah, the Stormy Daniels will be more honest. They will be doing better job, and actually, it will show that Trump was her one moment lover, <laughs> how you want to call it, just a split second lover, and he didn't even pay, so she didn't want to, him to pay, so she had more character, but eventually she. I don't know, just wondering if she was not smart enough to take the, you know, a little bit of his DNA. She's not a stupid girl. So she thought that she would have, if she have to prove it, she has some, that's my guessing. And I know she, she is a long-term thinker. Will Kevin McCartney and Jim Jordan be investigated by criminal in, interfer, for criminally interfering with Al, um, Alvin Bragg from Manhattan prosecutor and investing against uh, Don Don? Congress will. Uh, I don't see Jordan and McCartney being investigated for that. They will be they will be treated as puppies, so they will let them go. I will see what the cards are saying, but they will let them kind of pee all over the the house. They will be fighting, being reunited with Republicans' family. And they will have to just rethink the, the making decision and making decision. I don't see them being really in. DOJ is not that fast, not that. doesn't have the ability to, to run and protect the, the law fast enough. So he should be more aggressive. That's my opinion, and I'm allowed to have it. I'm a woman. <laughs> yeah, we we we're fighting for that. Just okay. Justin Jordan is the lady who asked me a question. Will the New York police today protect James Bragg and those who work for them today? Somehow there was a white powder coming to the uh, New York um, po um, court. But those people will have to watch the bugs and everyone who is working in the court because I see a sniper. That's not a good vision and I have to see what the cards are saying. If they agree with me or maybe they will disagree. That's order from Don Don. They want to hurt somehow rainbow over the family. Those people will survive. Everything will be good. But that's he is showing himself with the baseball bat. How rude! I don't know enough about law, but I think he should be charged for something like that. He should be responsible. Gag orders, whatever, call it, but he should be feeling that he can't just say it what he wants to say. He is not a little kid. He still feels like a little kid. 
Okay. No vow. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, who is sending me those questions. Good for the coming indictment. But will he actually be convicted on all those indictment, indictments? And I saw table of roulette. And the ball on the last moment is jumping from one place to another. It's not going... First, it's going round, round equally, but then it's boom, boom, boom. So not every number will be touched. And I saw when people are sitting around that big uh, table and they have the, num you know, those, we call them jetons in Polish, but those fake money kind of, someone is coming and robbing them from jewelry and so on. Usually people are dressed up for that occasion when they are playing, so the Roberts will be coming and doing what they ever want to do. So I don't have the best trust. I think something will be sabotaged, something will be stolen, or in my day, in, uh, in front of everyone, something will be obviously taken the wrong way. The doctor, the lover, angel of love, because he has so many people who loves him. And they will do a good job. I'm, I just hope the cards are more uh, against me, so maybe that robbery wouldn't work too well. Maybe they will be able to, to do a good job and but I'm afraid that he had too many people who are his support and, uh, supporters and they will try to sabotage whatever they can. Jacqueline Robinson, will Diane Feinstein be able to handle work, work ahead of her in U.S. Senate? She is elderly. Yes, she's eight, nine, 89. So, you know, how long someone can work? There should be some limits. I know, Pelosi was still very active, 82, but 89, and they know that she had already problems with memory uh, that was showing. And now, after being so much in pain for, from shingles, I wish her all the best. And I saw old cat sitting on the chair, not thinking like jumping out. So she will be, you know, we love our cats, we love our dogs. People will tolerate her more than having a fun, because with old cats, we're just adoring them. And she is so... For, for that many years that she was in Senate, the oldest, I think, uh, the longest working in the Senate woman, for sure. So that that's something that she deserves, some nice place on by fireplace, but, uh, like a cat. But, yes, she's very motherly, but she will have have a hard time to make any decisions. Everyone else will be taking decisions for her. And she's waiting. She's waiting to retire. Especially now. Because I had only, after getting the shot, six weeks later, I got a little shingles. Just that much. But it was... Uh, on the waist, so it was really unpleasant because you can't wear when whatever you are wearing, it's not fun because it's hurting. But it right away I took medication and it helped, and it wasn't anything bad. It's odd that I took the shot and six weeks. For six weeks after taking shot for shingles, I felt like, oh my gosh, I have to lay down. Uh, when I was coming from work, every day I had to lay down for six weeks. After I had that, oh, I'm, I was normal. But, you know, so I can understand how she is feeling. She is feeling drained. 
even before probably she was, because uh, it's not coming from nowhere. It's building up in the body. Ziv au au vi o aurui. How serious will be? Uh, how serious will be seaweed, and how long it will last in Florida? And I think it will be more and more often coming to Florida because the ocean is warmer, the seaweed is growing like a mushrooms. So I think that will be something that it will be even worse, well, maybe not as bad as this year, it's horrific. But I think I see a money growing on that seaweed. So I think they will learn how to use this for, for good reason, maybe making uh, this into a compost or maybe making this into um, oil because that's what Elon was talking about. He said that he's going to give someone $1 million if they will do that. So that was something that uh, might be a good outcome from this. So but that I will pull three cards and see. And I know it's smelly. I'm glad I don't have to leave there. Well, <laughs> it's nice to leave there, but uh, to have that smell on under your nose, it's not fun. People will be still coming for vacations, rejuvenating themselves. They will have to make some way of controlling this. So some law will be that they have to clean it up and clean it up. They will find a reason to appreciate this, to, to change this for some medicine, something more useful. Great, because that's what they, they need. And LTD, will the stock market crash uh, in September? And it will be like uh, starting marathon. And people are, you know, not everyone is finishing the marathon. A lot of people will be going. It will be harder and harder to, to reach the, the point the last when the, there is end of the marathon. But at the start, we are probably already in the start of the marathon. But you said in September, so there might be some harder times ahead of us. I will check it out and yes. Yet some law will have to be pushed to be uh, to make some restrictions, especially with banks. There will be a lot of struggle. Battle and battle. Yeah, there will be some battles. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm seeing. And the home remedies. Anne Bodio. Tell Cheryl that castor oil works for healing on scars. I should have told her a long time ago, I'm sorry. But she she knows her own remedies. And yesterday I had, uh, with Sybil, I had a live stream and Leah wrote a for cough, garlic, oil, garlic and honey. So, and to build up your immune system, eat garlic, chopped garlic with ginger, chopped ginger, cover it with honey. It's um, a little bit more work than, you know, because when you put it through the uh, machine, the ginger is not good. I prefer to cut it and the garlic as well. I, uh, garlic you can squeeze through the 
those tweezer but the ginger it's better that you can cut i will try it maybe one day garlic and honey dry honey ginger um, dry ginger not honey ginger with um, ginger powder instead of fresh ginger but i believe fresh ginger is very healthy so i once in a while i'm chopping the ginger with garlic and then pouring honey to to cover it it's yummy keep this in the fridge it can be for two weeks so i was always giving my husband a spoon when he was going through radiation at least that hopefully was helping him it was <laughs> the chopping is is not the easy especially garlic garlic you can't really take the smell that easy but when you have um, garlic on your hands another remedy go to the sink and if you have stainless sink touch it with your hands the, the part that you are using for um, cutting it will take away the smell so this is really good <laughs> advice i know that one from poland that whenever i was doing something with garlic i was going to the sink and actually playing with the <laughs> dispenser of water everything i, I have is stainless steel and that's take away the garlic so believe me it works i want to play uh, pray for peace because today there is so many conflicts one is in Syria, another is close to China. So we have to pray for, for security. And the big one is in Ukraine. We want the peace. We want to create a peace and stability on the world. Biden and uh, Trudeau are talking today. And... Uh, I said a long time ago that there will be immigrants coming from USA and that's what they are disgusting, disgusting, that that's a uh, disgusting, sorry. Words are very similar, disgusting and disgusting. So they will be talking about this, uh, how to control the, the same problem that you have on your south border. And hopefully that will help Canada, you know, especially in the winter. Some last years, some people were dying during that journey because it was so cold and they didn't know the road and family of four died and they came from India. So we want to pray for, for peace, stability, security in the world and that we all will feel happy and prosperous and healthy and young <laughs> that would be nice but that's impossible but we can only hope that we will keep feeling young and you guys take care good, good care of yourself if you can eat well please do that because the good healthy eating is so important I love you guys. See you next time. Monday at 11, Mountain Time, Alberta Time, like uh, Alberta, Canada. If you Google, you will find uh, what is the difference between your area and my area. Okay? Bye-bye.